thank you for what you're doing. It is so important to have that type of representation in the media, especially right now. When you know that you're kind of pushing the needle forward a little bit with the content you're putting out, how important and humbling is that for you? It's amazing. You know, this whole album is very important to me. There's a song about being raised Catholic and being gay and how that affected me. And so I really talk about my queerness in this album. I wrote this album for my people. I want this generation of little girls to not feel afraid. And I think that has been the motivating factor for me when I felt like I wasn't strong enough to do it for myself. I thought of my niece and the love that I have for her and how I will want her to see like her Zia Mika did it. I love that you're so tied in with your family because the fact that you put this music out there for your niece and for your chosen family and those around you. And actually this album that you're putting out is based off your grandmother. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about that? I love Vivian when she passed away. It was kind of the thing that snapped for me that revealed all of the trauma that I have yet to deal with. And I feel like her death was like a rebirth for me, truly um, an understanding that we get one chance at this. I did get to visit my 16 year old self in this. And I was able to say like, it's gonna be really hard mm -hmm. and we're gonna cry a lot and a lot of things are gonna happen but I'm going to make you so proud. I want people to leave feeling like I can do anything, I can say anything, I can be anything, I can feel anything, you know, and I hope that that's how they feel when the album comes out.